Good morning. Today is my topic is multiple sequence alignment. What is multiple sequence alignment? Multiple sequence alignment it is a process which is used to align two or more sequences at a time. With the help of the multiple sequence alignment we can create the phylogenetic tree, we can analyze any sequences on the basis of its similarities, homology modelings and it is also used to find the motif. It is the more heuristic method in compared to the pairwise sequence alignment because the, uh, in multiple sequence alignment we compare two or more sequences at a time which is more complicated process and by hand it is uh, if we, if we will do this process with, uh, by hand, so it will be so time consuming and typical. And uh, there are many types of the multiple sequence alignments. First is dynamic programming method. Dynamic programming method. Second is progressive method. Third is iterative method. Dynamic programming method, progressive method, iterative method, motive folding method, motive folding method. Consensus method, genetic algorithm, and the last one is hidden Markov model. First is dynamic programming method. It is the it is first essential program which is used for the multiple sequence alignment. It is method in which we align to the two or more sequences on the basis of dynamic programming. It requires few algorithm like uh, Smith Waterman algorithm and Edelman Munch algorithm. In dynamic program in dynamic programming methods, we require two steps for the uh, for align two sequences, two or more sequences. The they are, uh, the two steps which is. Be, uh, the two steps which uh, on which dynamic programming is based, these are gap penalty. First is uh, gap penalty, and the second is scoring matrix. On the basis of the scoring matrix, we can find out that uh, how much sequences are similar, how much these are homologous, and the uh, how many amino acids are uh, similar in both of uh, in both two or more sequences which is based on the chemical structure of the amino acids and its physical properties and it's also the evolutionary relationship between two or more sequences scoring matrix it is calculating by with the help of the gap penalty matches mismatches on the basis of the scoring matrix we can find out that how much sequence are similar and uh, how much they are, how many uh, correlates show they uh, they to each other and how many these are uh, the evolutionary relationship between the uh, between these sequences we can find out with the help of the scoring matrix next is progressive up uh, in dynamic programming methods the result is common to the two forms first uh, negative or positive for the global al alignment it uh, it it will all for the global global alignment the dynamic programming results all will come always will come in positive mix of the positive or negative in local alignment it will comes both negative or positive Next is progressive method. Progressive method it is the most heuristic method for the multiple sequence alignment. It is also called the hierarchical model or the uh, guide tree model. It is also called hierarchical hierarchical model and guide tree. In Gayatri, ma'am, it is uh, 
it is that, that method which is mainly used for the multiple sequence alignment. Progressive method requires to uh, have two process for the multiple sequence alignment. First is this, by the, with the help of the progressive method, we can create the tree that, which is called guide tree on the basis of the relationship between two or more sequences. And the second is we can uh, add more sequences sequentially in the progressive method to generate uh, to increase the size of the guide tree. With the help of we can find out that uh, who will be the ancestor of these sequences and how much these are homologous to each other. Third one is iterative method. Iterative method it is uh, completely based on the progressive method. We can say this that it is uh, the progressive method and iterative methods are both both are same. But the iterative methods basically used to remove that error which will come in the progressive method. Next is motif folding method. What is motif? Motif it is a super secondary structure of the proteins by which we can uh, motive are that uh, portion of the protein which is highly conserved during evolution. It means uh, we can say this that motif is that portion which uh, which always remains same during evolution. It is called the conserved reason. Motif folding method it is methods which uh, which is used to find out the motifs between two or more sequences in the multiple sequence alignment. With the help of that, with the help of these processes in multiple sequence alignment, we can find out that which, which reason is highly conserved during evolution between two or more sequences by which we can find out that which will be the common, common in these sequences. And uh, third one is, and the next is consensus method. What is consensus method? Consensus sequences are those sequences which can change during evolution. Next is consensus method. Consensus method, it is that method which, uh, which provides the result of multiple sequence alignment more than one result at a single time for, this, uh, for the single set of the multiple sequence alignment. Consensus method requires to pro have more than two, uh, have more than two tools for the multiple sequence alignment first is m coffee and t coffee these are the tools which is used to, which is mainly used for the consensus method consensus uh, with the help of these tool we can find out the more than uh, more than one result of a single set of multiple sequence alignment basically kya hota hai ki jab kisi sequence ko align karate hain to hume ek result provide hoga but with the help of consensus sequence we can find out more than one result but more than two or three results Next is genetic algorithm. It is best map. It is one of the best method of the multiple sequence alignment because it provide the uh, it provide the accurate result of the MSA. It is very typical and the uh, expensive method, but it require for the genome sequence analysis basically. The hidden Markov model is a, it is the last one method for the uh, multiple sequence alignment. Hidden Markov model it is a statistical it stat statistical based model. Hai which is used to find out the number of amino acids, gap penalties, each matches, mismatches in the sequences. We, in simple language, we can say this that hidden Markov model is a model which is used to, uh, hidden Markov model is based on the paired by sequence alignment method. In this method, first of all, we align two sequences and, the, and then the result of that sequences, we align with the other sequences. With the help of uh, hidden Markov model, we can find out the closely related, uh, closely related sequences which have the relatedness between uh, each other and the uses of multiple sequence alignment. Multiple sequence alignment is basically used for the homology modeling, motive for finding Kire and uh, consensus reason. What is homology modeling? Homology modeling is a modeling by which we can generate any proteins and, and any collinear proteins of a sequence with the help of few software like ModWeb, iTester. These are the software which is used to predict the secondary or tertiary checks of the proteins. Either RNA or DNA we can also use. Here, when I was saying that progressive method, it is used for the protein of, it is basically used for the protein math, protein sequence alignment. And then second is motive findings. It is you, multiple sequence alignment is used for the motive finding. Motive is that side which uh, in my, firstly I was saying that motive is that reason which is highly conserving evolutions. So with the help of that reason, we can find out uh, that how much these are, uh, how much those sequences are similar which is used for the multiple sequence alignment. We can find out the similarities between that sequences with the help of the motifs and the conserved reason. Conserved reason is those re uh, multiple sequence alignment is also used in, uh, to, uh, with the help of the multiple sequence alignment we can generate a phylogenetic tree. Uh, phylogenetic tree it is based on, uh, it is based on the pairwise sequence alignment. How can we create a phylogenetic tree? Phylogenetic tree is created on the basis of similarities between two sequences. With the help of the phylogenetic tree, we can find out the ancestor of that, uh, that sequences and we can find out that which sequences are uh, highly collinear to each other. In this, step of, uh, in this step of the multiple sequence alignment, the genetic algorithm, we require a uh, few software tools like, like uh, 
Saga or Raga? Saga it is a sequence alignment of genetic algorithm and the Raga is it is used for the RNA sequences. Saga it is used for the protein and the DNA sequence alignment, protein sequence alignment. Use for protein sequence alignment and Raga it is used for the RNA sequence alignment. These are those software which provide most accurate results on the basis of similarities, dissimilarities and uh, these are also helpful for create any scoring matrix on the basis of substitution matrix. Uh, sorry, these are helpful to create the scores on the basis of substitution matrix. What is substitution matrix? Substitution matrix, it is based on the dynamic programming which require few algorithm like uh, smith wardham algorithm dot matrix methods. These are methods which you use to create the scoring matrix. With the help of the scoring matrix and genetic algorithm, with the, in these software like Saga and Raga, we can create a, we can find out the similarities of that, uh, between those sequences. For the motif foldings, we require the software that this is ME, ME. This is the software. which is used for the motif folding, which is used for the motif folding method for multiple sequence alignment. For the dynamic programming method, we, require, we have few software like uh, GVista, Blast, Cluster W, Cluster, uh, now Cluster W is retired because it, uh, on the place of that software, we have the cluster omega, which is which provided the most accurate, which is which provided us more accurate result in compared to the cluster W. Faster, mega, mega six. These are uh, these are software which is used for the multiple sequence alignment. Blast, blast. Uh, what is GVista? GVista is basically for the genome sequence alignment for the genome comparison. With the help of the GVista software, we can align genome sequences and find out the similarities between both uh, between all of that sequences. Blast is basically used for the protein sequence. The we can use for the protein nucleotides and RNA sequences. Uh, there are many types of blast which is based on the. Uh, which is uh, based on the sequence which are which are uses for the alignment. Cluster W it is used for the multiple sequence alignment. In the cluster W programs we can submit at a times more than two sequences and align those sequences. Cluster W provided the in, in its results the similarities of between two sequ uh, between two or more sequences, fire generic tree, and it provided the colored result to us uh, on the basis of matches, mismatches, and gaps. It represents the color uh, for the gap. Uh, maybe it. Uh, Cluster Omega, same as the cluster W because it is it come now at the place of the cluster W. Faster it is it is also used for the sequence alignment process, but it is used for the two sequence alignment at a single time. It is uh, it is completely collinear to the blast, but it is fast in, in compared to the blast. Mega 6, it is also used for the multiple sequence alignment. It provides the phylogenetic tree. Phylogenetic tree is that tree which uh, have two types of the file. First is ALN file and the DND file. With the help of those files, we can find out that how much these are similar to each other. Multiple sequence alignment is the more heuristic method for the global optimal alignment. For the uh, because the optimal alignment is a process which is highly expensive, time consuming. If we uh, and the multiple sequence alignment is a process by which we can analyze any sequence and find out that which amino acids are used to in that sequences and uh, we can find out that. Uh, the function of those sequences with the help of the MSA and the phylogenetic. Uh, thank you, sir.